It's the Tony Tone Show on Vintage Sound 93.1 FM in the Pearl City, Muscatine, Iowa. You can hang out with yours truly later this afternoon at High V between 4 and 6 p.m. along with the Better Business Bureau of Iowa. It's a meet and greet. Get some information, learn what the BBB is all about. And by the way, you can meet former Iowa Hawkeye basketball star and Chicago Bull. He does Hawkeye basketball on the radio with Gary Dolphin. Bobby Hansen is on the MPW Digital TV Celebrity Hotline. And if there's one thing I know about Iowans, they love their sports heroes, and Bobby is one of them. Let me grab him over there. Bobby Hansen. Hey, Tony. How are you, bud? Good, man. Welcome back uh, on the radio. We're so excited to see you and the Better yeah. Business Bureau. So a lot of people have been asking me, Bobby, uh, Better Business Bureau, when they come to town and they do a meet and greet like this at Hy-Vee from 4 till 6, what can folks expect to learn about the Better Business Bureau? What can they learn? Probably everything that we do, mm-hmm. um, Tony, is what we're trying to get out. It's our first one, to be honest with you. I mean, we, we will appear at shows, uh, marketing guys into Comic-Con. Nice. Um, so he's, he's had really good response because you get a lot of families, and, and you know, you're, before you hire a contractor, before you, you do business with somebody, check at BBB.org and make sure that, uh, you know, they're reputable, if you will. Um, you know, they're not a lot of outstanding complaints or they're scamming people with taking down payments and that. So you're trying to get the word out that, you know, be careful, basically, sure. out there. And hy V is a new corporate member we signed up this year. So we want to, you know, use that as the, as kind of the, the, the vehicle of which we'll, Get the message out and let people know that you know, hey, big corporation like High V believes in it, and um, it's not that hard. To BBB.org, check it out. I love what the commercial says. Finding a trustworthy business is easy when you look for the seal, the Better Business Bureau accredited seal, and it makes total sense to want to work with businesses that align themselves with the mission and, and the purpose of yep. the BBB. I mean. You know, I, I could find myself looking for somebody to maybe you know put a roof on the garage or something, and I and I yeah. would I would want to know that they're reputable, and that's what the BBB is all about. It's great. Yeah, and it's nonprofit too. The you know, if you will, competition. Tony is for profit and sure. list and Yelp and that. Those are you know all trying to make money. So no, we we pride ourselves on being completely uh, you know third party neutral, impartial, and we are giving you the. The real scoop on on businesses as as well as we know it, and then sending out alerts and yeah, uh, uh, two hours at Hy-Vee would be to you know, let people know, come on out and meet, put a face uh, to, to the BBB, if you will, and, and uh, try to do more in Eastern Iowa. To be honest with you, yeah. sort of our, our office is in Des Moines, but we cover the entire state of Iowa minus Council Bluffs. Well, I tell you what, I think that uh, folks are definitely going to come out to Hy-Vee between four and six. Uh, to learn about the BBB, but then, as you know, Bobby, uh, from playing basketball at Iowa, you have so many fans and supporters in Muscatine County. It's it's got to make you feel good, right? Oh, absolutely! Yeah, it's huge Hawkeye country uh, over here in Eastern Iowa. When when we did the shredded events, yep, um, across the street from Hy-Vee for the last few years, ton of people, people lined up, and yeah, we we, we took those uh, documents and, and uh, with the help of a, a shredded company, we got rid of that, but. Yeah, in, in my case, a lot of, of you know, conversation does uh, revert to the Hawkeyes, and, and they want to know how the team's going to be this year. People are excited uh, for a young basketball team, and, and uh, you know, obviously football is rocking and rolling as well. So, yeah, you get a lot of good conversation. I know you can't talk about him because he's only verbally committed, but I, I was I was chatting with Dolph the other week about football, and towards the end I said, you know, we're super excited with Muscatine and Joe Wieskamp, a kid that's verbally committed to be a Hawkeye in a couple of years, and I can't tell you how much I enjoy watching uh, high school basketball, Bobby. This Muscatine high school team this year is going to be so much fun, and it's so great to see talent stay in the state how does that make you feel because you'll be calling these games with Dolph to know that somebody you know like a like a Wies camper whomever played high school ball and then goes on to Iowa oh absolutely you know that's what it's all about and, and I made my decision uh, you know a lot later than Joe did <laughs> 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 committed pretty early I was way into my senior year and, <laughs> and uh, even at that time it was uh, my father giving me advice that uh, you're homegrown here in the state of Iowa and a lot of really good things could happen after you graduate if you stick it out and get through the University of Iowa. So, yeah, I think, uh, you know, we can harvest our own talent. That's, uh, that's even a better 
a player of Joe's capability. I had only seen video and YouTube videos and highlight reels and looks phenomenal. Can't wait to get him on campus. And uh, Fran has a great eye for recruiting. And, uh, you know, he, I know he thinks highly of Joe. I've only met him real quick last year in the locker room. Him and his dad were, sure. were, uh, watching an early basketball game and I was in there interviewing Fran, but got good size, big, strong kid. And, uh, it's only going to get better. I, I would say, what is he, a sophomore or maybe a junior now? Yeah, he's a junior this year. So just, yeah. uh, just going to be so much fun to watch. Um, I had somebody ask me, and uh, and I didn't know if I was going to ask you this question, but during the shred events that we did with the Better Business Bureau and now with the meet and greet with the BBB, four to six at High V, have you thought about bringing the championship bulls ring or no? Well, absolutely, I thought about it. I forgot it. it was, uh, <laughs> pretty early in the morning, I was trying to pack and uh, a little car issue, so... Uh, I, I didn't bring it. I got to about Grinnell, and I said I'm not turning around to bring it. But most of the time, I I do try to try to bring, bring it along at events like this. So people can get an opportunity to get an up close look at what a World Championship ring looks like. I when I ran the uh, Chicago Bulls basketball schools, had it everywhere, had it in the, in the city, and take it off, handed it around, and forget about it, and it all <laughs> came back, Tony, which <laughs> scares me sometimes. But, right. yeah, I've got her locked away in a safe. But, uh, yeah, I wish I would have brought it because I, I, I did think about it because opportunity for, for people to kind of a lot of Bulls fans over in, in the Quad City, Muscatine area as well. Well, next time for sure. Uh, listen, yeah. the last question, and I, I think I know the answer, but I want you to tell folks what – what drew you personally to get involved with the Better Business Bureau, um, and, and and how much fun have you had? Because how many years has it been now, Bobby? It's been like two or three years, and more than that. Over two. Yeah, okay. I started in September, um, just after our oldest daughter uh, got married in Chicago, and I had kind of taken the, the summer off. I you know, tried retirement a couple of times, Tony, and it's just <laughs> not. Not for a young age. You know, you gotta, you know, all your buddies are working and you can only golf so much. And, and, uh, so this opportunity came up and, uh, the CEO president, Chris Coleman, is a guy that I knew the family from high school at Dowling. He's done a wonderful job of making it financially strong and he has a vision. He has a five year strategic plan, which, uh, came in right at the beginning of it. So we're like two and a half years through that. We're at the halfway point of increasing membership, being a little more visible getting out and letting people know what we do and uh it's you know like i said it's non-profit non-governmental non-policing but we do uh, try to create that marketplace of trust so sure. people uh, aren't getting ripped off when a uh, when a storm might blow through town or something and you get all what we call storm chasers will come through and and uh throw people for a loop so um yeah i, I, I love it and i think what i like about it is is the uh, non-profit part of it that there isn't that total stress all the time to be trying to turn a profit and get the most money that you can. We, you know, we're not for everybody. We we invite the great companies of Iowa to take a look and see if they'd like to join us. And it's just like we're partnering with High V. Uh, Casey's is another one. Casey's General Stores has, has uh, looked at it uh, about a year and a half ago and said, "Yeah, that's something we want to be involved in." So that makes me feel good that that it's not only you know the plumbers and roofers and the contractors, but it's big corporations that uh, believe in in uh, supporting that as well. Well, I tell you what, we have such a great relationship with uh, Hy-Vee in Muscatine, and then we have a Hy-Vee Main Street downtown, and, and they're really nice. they're really uh, good to us, and we try and do good things with them for the community, and I know that folks are excited for the meet and greet, 4 till 6 at Hy-Vee on Highway 61. And honestly, uh, I always look forward to hanging out and having a good conversation with you, and we'll, we'll jump on the radio and, uh, and encourage folks to stop by and say hi to the Better Business Bureau of Iowa. And Bobby Hansen, it's, uh, it's always a pleasure having you on the radio, sir. Tom, I look forward to seeing you here tonight. All right, pal. Take care. We'll be in touch, and I'll see you in just a few hours, okay? All right, bud. Take Thanks, care. Bobby. Bye.